Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh, brother Yasin. So as of right now, I've been locked up uh, 15 years and two months. <clears throat> 15 years and two months. So, you know, I caught my charge back in 2006 in which uh, a robbery took place, not with me robbing somebody, but with somebody robbing me. So let's get that understood. Not with me robbing somebody, with somebody robbing me. And during the commission of this robbery, you know, I end up with the gun and I end up shooting a dude, you know, as he ran away. So, you know, I didn't uh, run or anything like that. I turned myself in because this is a, a legitimate case of self-defense as, you know, I heard or, you know, however the situation uh, may go. And uh, when I turned myself in, you know, doing my uh, my indictment, they charged me with first degree premeditated murder. First degree premeditated murder for protecting my own life. You know, so the system, you know, it's corrupt. You know, it ain't right. You know, a lot of people suffer every day for, you know, charges and crimes that, you know, shouldn't be. And at the age of 18, when I caught my charge, you know, I was still young. You know, the first charge that I ever caught, my first charge, the first charge on my adult record, and by me not being properly uh, represented, you know, I had to take a plea of 25 years in prison for self-defense, in which I didn't start or initiate the crime. The robbery was taking place on me, you know, so, but alhamdulillah, you know, you know, for the good and bad, because I couldn't say where I would end up had I not came to prison. So yeah, I look at it as a flawed situation, but in the end, it, it benefited to me because I embraced Islam. You know, Islam held me make it through this sentence. You know, right now I've been Muslim for about 11 and a half years. You know, I took my shahada and Islam is the best thing that has ever happened to me, you know. I finally realized that the Cardinal Law is taking place and it was meant for that to happen. It was meant for that to happen because the Cardinal Law is good. You know, everything that comes from a law is good. And I accept that. And I accept that with the price that a law has given me. You come to prison, you took Shahada, now you see the path in which you are headed. You know, because maybe I could have died non Muslim. So alhamdulillah that for that. But the system, man, is crazy, man. You know, I got nine years left, uh, inshallah, on my sentence. And, uh, you know, I'm striving hard. You know, I love this religion. I love it. I, you know, I read Quran daily. You know, I make the prayers five times a day. You know, I do coop bars. You know, uh, uh, I help with the Taliyin. You know, so I'm trying to be an asset in order, you know, to raise me for when I get out and to help the brothers and sisters when I get out from this incarceration. You know, so, you know, the prison system, man, y'all see, you know how it is, man. You've been here, you know, and I can go on and on and on and on about, you know, how hard it is in the system, you know, the living conditions, and inshallah I will. But right now, you know, I just wanted to give you a little brief story about you know why you know i received the sentence that i sent I, I received because a lot of people that come to prison are not bad people you know we just get caught up in wrong situations so alhamdulillah you know may allah reward you for everything i keep and inshallah i'll be getting with you soon alhamdulillah brother yasha you know the the beauty of islam that's what has been explained to me upon embracing the Islam is that, you know, once you take in Shahada, all your previous sins are forgiven. You know, when a brother told me this and I was like, all my previous sins being uh, forgiven. So I got a clean slate. The brother was like, yeah, you got a clean slate. So I'm like, who refuses uh, uh, a slate like this? Who refuses a clean plate? 
in which all of our sins from before the Shahada are forgiven, as long as you don't go back to those sins. So it was explained to me the, the Tawheed, you know, the Rububiya and the Lordship in which I already had belief that Isa, alayhi salam, you know, was a prophet, you know, due to my uncles and stuff like that, because I got family members that are Muslim, you know, but I didn't take my Shahada when I was on the street, you know, because we rip and run, we was on the street. But when I finally sat down and had the time to think and have a, have a brother explain to me, you know, the principles of Islam, you know, how could anybody refuse such a beautiful religion? How can anybody review or, or refuse such beautiful words and wisdoms from the Quran? You know, I love this religion. I, I love it. And one of the most important things about the religion is the Tawheed. The Tawheed. The Lordship, worship, and names and attributes of Allah. And once we understand these things here, and understand that there's nothing worthy of worship but Allah and the Prophet Muhammad is his messenger, then the way is paid for you, I. Because the way of the messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is one way. It's one path. And by me coming to prison, I finally got to realize and sit down and think about the path and the direction in which I want to go. You know, living a life of crime and, you know, how people say prison talk and all that right there. When you get back out, you're going to be doing the same thing. Not me. Because I wasn't a troubled kid in the get-go. I was in here, or I'm in here now, because I wasn't properly represented. I didn't have money to afford a lawyer, and, and for the majority of the cases in the prison system, if you can't afford a lawyer, and you're being represented by a public defender, then you're doomed. You're coming to prison, whether you're innocent or guilty. Because the system, they don't care about that. Only thing they care about is getting another inmate to add to their docket in which it's more money. I call 25 years for self-defense. 25 years for self-defense. The first charge I ever caught, the first charge I ever caught, and I'm in here for 25 years. But alhamdulillah, man, for the good and bad. Because if I wouldn't have came to prison, who knows where I'd be right now. And brother Yasser, man, you know, I want to thank you for everything you are a blessing to the community Aki. you understand the system and the way you give back to the brothers that's incarcerated you know keep doing you may Allah reward you and all those who are watching for everything I love y'all man for the sake of Allah <laughs> thank you man I'm Musa I'm Musa and I'm Musa man y'all take care